Okay, guys. Um, so, I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I wanted to... I've been wanting to make a video to basically just reintroduce myself. I feel like I haven't been the most authentic version of myself on the internet. And I feel like I've been like wearing this mask and portraying myself as like, I don't know, maybe who I used to be when I first started this whole Instagram, YouTube, beauty influencer journey. But I'm like, I'm so different. I'm so different from who I was when I first started this, like three years ago. And I really feel like my growth on social media has been stunted so much due to me not not being consistent and then also not being the truest the truest version of myself. So I kind of wanted to just come on here like bare face just me and just like talk to you guys about who I am what I'm up to now just like what's going on in my life um, so yeah okay um, it's December this past year has been crazy I started off this year transferring to a different school I first went to I started off at University Notre Dame Maryland University that's the first college I went to and I had like a terrible, terrible, terrible experience there. I'm not even really going to get into that, but it really just, it was the worst. <laughs> and I was really depressed for a long time. And like anyone who's close to me knows that I, I suffer from depression and I suffer from anxiety. And that's something that I've struggled with for a while. And I really, really want to just be like an advocate for mental health. That's something really important to me and I, and I haven't talked about this on my public Instagram because I just on my Instagram I'm just this whole other person you know but I want to be I want to be real like really real and I struggle with mental health and I want to be an advocate for people who also struggle with mental health issues because <sighs> mental health is super important so I was in the wrong place um, that school wasn't for me so I decided to transfer to another school I transferred to UMBC um, but even though I was away from the situation which was causing me a lot of pain I was still in so much pain because I had just experienced like a whole bunch of really really crappy stuff so I was just like severely depressed for I guess the first maybe the first like four to six months of this year like maybe in, up until June I was really I was really sad for no reason like even though I was in a new school and a new environment and I had people who like wanted to be my friends and and I was taking classes that I would usually be interested in I just it just wasn't it wasn't making me feel any better and so that's how my year started off I started off sad <laughs> and um, basically after the school after the school year ended in like May I moved back home because I was living on campus and I moved back home and things started to get a little bit better day by day because I was around my family and I started like work and everything like that but I still I, I was still struggling because I had lost a lot of friends in the 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 whole Notre Dame situation the first school so I lost basically all the friends that I had there because they weren't the people for me and um, I was sad and I was lonely and so that happened and then after that I got a really cool job 
during the summertime, I worked as an art teacher for a Parks and Rec center that's not too far from me. And I, I really enjoyed it. Like, <laughs> I really enjoyed teaching art because I love art and I've always loved art since I was a kid. But um, I think it's the teaching kids part that's not for me, especially teaching kids in such a big group environment. But it was it was fun. It kept it kept me on my feet. Um, and then during the summertime, I was struggling because I wasn't sure if I wanted to go back to school after the summertime because things just weren't working out for me. Um, with like academics and like tuition and everything else and for me school was just like it was just like bad things kept happening like one after another and it just wasn't really getting better like my situation with school and I had this thing where like every time I was on break I would go through this like process of thinking like oh my gosh I don't even know why I'm in school in the first place because what I really want to be doing is makeup like I was studying graphic design which was cool and all and like I was doing it because it was something artsy and that's what I like I like art but my true passion is beauty and makeup and hair and I couldn't do that in like a regular college the college that I was in and I felt like I was wasting so much time and money and effort because like it's cool to have a degree and all but it's not cool to have a degree in something that you don't want to do so I finally after two years of being in college made the decision to take a break drop out stop whatever you want to call it and I it was it was super scary to come to that conclusion because I was just like I don't want to be a dropout like I I want to finish this out and everybody kept telling me just finish it out Miss Mia just finish it out but every year that I was there every semester I just kept feeling like I was wasting so much time and money because it wasn't what I really wanted to do so I finally told my parents that I didn't want to do college anymore and I just didn't think it was for me and that I really wanted to pursue my makeup career and they were all for it because they know how passionate I am about makeup and they know how talented I am and they know that this is something that I've wanted to do for a really long time. So they were in full support of that and yeah, that was that was the decision that I made basically and it was a really big one. And then within a week or two of me deciding that I wasn't going to go to school anymore, I got a DM on Instagram and <laughs> it was from like this lady and I clicked on her page and basically she was a coordinator for New York Fashion Week. So she was like the show coordinator for New York Fashion Week. She DM'd me and she asked me, she said, hey, how would you like to work backstage at New York Fashion Week on the beauty team? And I said, this for sure is a scam. Like, there's absolutely no way this is true. <laughs> like, this is, like, this sounds like a crazy scam. So anyway, I looked into her. I told my mom. My mom was freaking out. I was freaking out. <sighs> Come to find out, she was a real person. It wasn't a scam. We talked to her on the phone, like, multiple times. Set everything up within two weeks. I was backstage at New York Fashion Week doing makeup on like freaking models and like working for these fashion designers and working with Ted Gibson and like it was just so 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 crazy like I couldn't believe it was happening but that happened so quickly it was like a dream come true um, it was something that I've wanted to do for a really, really long time. Like it's any makeup artist's dream. So I can't believe I got to do that, but I did it and it's wow, like it happened, crazy. Um, and then shortly after I came back from New York Fashion Week, I got a job at a salon with these like really super amazing people. They're so, so sweet. 
and basically I'm going to apprentice under them as a cosmetologist and they can teach me everything I know and I don't have to pay a dime out of my pocket and I'm gonna get my cosmetology license while making money at the same time while building up clientele so I'm super excited for that I'm gonna officially start in January and like I'm just I'm just so excited for what's to come and yeah that's that's pretty much my year, like the highlights of my year summed up, um, or like how I got to where I am now, I guess. Really big decisions, really big events, um, crazy stuff. So within the last month, I decided that I really need to, I need to rebrand myself because the person that I'm portraying on social media is totally different from who I am. Like, I don't really open up. I don't really, like, talk about things, really. Or, I don't know. Like, I don't really connect with you guys. And I'm all about talking and connecting with people and, like, running my mouth about things that I'm passionate about and all that kind of stuff. And I want to be able to do that. But I just felt like, I don't know. Like, I just felt like maybe scared to do that because my page is public and like anybody can <laughs> see me and talk to me I guess I don't know like it, it's just it's scary opening up to the world but it's something that I want to do because there's so many things that I want to do and there's so many changes that I want to make in the world and I just want to help people I just want to I just want to help people that's all like I want to be a mental health advocate I want to help like change the world like the environment I want to like connect with people learn about things educate myself educate other people on what I know um, just talk about my experiences like everything I, there's just so much that I want to do and the internet gives us endless access to all these things and I want to be a part of that and I don't want to be fake and <laughs> I just want to open up to people and yeah so I also another big decision that I made this year was to I guess to to stop covering and that's something that so it's something that I've struggled with for years and years it's not something that has just come about or like I went to college and like everybody changed me and I'm this rubble. It's like, it's something that I've struggled with for a really long time. But I didn't really feel like I could voice it because I was afraid of what people would think and the things that people would say and how people would react. And I just, I wasn't ready to be that vulnerable um, and I do care a lot about what people say about me and about what people think about me even though I try to act like I don't but I do I, I care a lot and I want to be a good example that's all I ever want to be is a good example and a good person and I know that I'm a good person but sometimes it's hard when you struggle with things like religion or like the things that you value or whatever else um, and I know that a lot of the people who follow me are well a good amount of people who follow me are also Muslim Muslim girls and I just want to be the best example for everybody um, but I'm also human and everybody struggles and I haven't been happy with like myself when I look in the mirror like I just I don't recognize myself anymore and I think it's because I'm still living I'm living in the past I'm not being present and I'm not being like I've grown so much but the outside me hasn't like caught up to that and also a part of me is still stuck in the past so it's like a whole bunch of stuff going on um but yeah I I don't want to be fake anymore and 
I just want to be open. Well, I mean, I haven't, it's not like I've been fake, like, pretending that I'm somebody else, but I guess I haven't, I haven't really opened up fully and, like, showed you guys who, who I really am, like, deep down. <laughs> so, I am going to basically change my whole Instagram platform, the ones that you guys follow me on now, Beauty by Samia, and it's going to be totally rebranded, and, um, mostly, basically, all the pictures of me, you're going to see them disappear very slowly but surely, and you're going to see mostly just pictures of my work, um, because I really want to show myself as a makeup artist and not, like, a beauty influencer, because... I want to be working for magazines. I want to be working like editorial projects. Like I don't want to just be like a beauty influencer. I don't just want to be like somebody who does makeup on myself because that's fun and all, but what I really love is doing makeup on other people because I don't know. For me that's more fun and I like seeing people's reactions when they see themselves in the mirror and they're like, "Oh my gosh, like I look so beautiful." I just like that's the reaction that I love to see. So my Beauty by Samia Instagram is just going to be strictly pictures of my work and that's pretty much it. And then I'm going to have my personal Instagram where you guys can really get to know me and connect with me and I talk about everything, not just the beauty world because there's so much more to me than being a makeup artist. Um, and there's so much more that I want to talk about, but it just doesn't feel appropriate to talk about that on my makeup page where I'm showing my work. <laughs> so the Beauty by Samia page is going to be basically more so of like a portfolio page where I'm displaying my work and showing like the projects I'm working on and things that I'm doing um, when it comes to makeup. And then I'm going to have my personal page where it's going to be everything else all about me. And I'm truly fully dedicated to this new chapter in my life and this new journey it's so scary so so scary because people are vicious like people are so vicious and that's what has scared me so much about like really fully opening up on the internet but I'm gonna do it for myself because this is something that I've wanted to do since I was like 14 years old now the only thing holding me back is myself so I really haven't been really being my or putting my full self into this because I've been afraid of what other people would say so I'm gonna let go of all that and start the new decade off right and yeah I'm gonna do this like I'm I'm scared I'm scared to upload this video to be honest like I'm in, in the back of my mind right now I'm like am I actually gonna publish this is this actually gonna go out there <sighs> yes it has to it has to um, but thank you so much for watching Thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you for following me, subscribing, for being a part of my journey. Um, if you don't follow me anymore because you feel like I'm not the type of person you want to follow, that's totally A-OK. -okay. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. But if you have stuck with me this long, this far out, Thank you so much, and I'm really looking forward to what's to come. Say hi, Abby. Hi. hi.